Welcome to the Classy Career Girl podcast. I'm your host, Anna Runyon, founder and CEO of Classy Career Girl, one of Forbes' most influential career sites. This is a podcast for a community of women who want to turn their passions into work they love. You'll learn how to become happy, successful, and balanced with class, skill, and style. We believe that you can create your future. So stop delaying your great life. Go put yourself out there. You can have your great life and career right now. Hey guys, it's Anna. So I've been getting a lot of requests to do a video on imposter syndrome. So that is what I'm going to do today. So if you have ever felt like you are not qualified or not good enough to do the job or to do something scary, maybe you're a little uncomfortable and you feel like, who am I to actually do that job? Like no one is going to think I'm smart enough. No one is gonna think I'm good enough. Like who am I to actually do that? Well, then you might have had imposter syndrome. We've all had it. I'm going to tell you when I had it. Years ago, back in 2014, I got invited for my first international speaking event in Brazil. And I was scared out of my mind. And I actually was talking to one of my coaches at the time. And I said, I do not believe I'm qualified for this. Like, who am I to be flown to Brazil to be wined and dined? They're gonna do my hair and do my makeup and I'm gonna speak to thousands of women. Like, they're gonna know I'm an imposter. They're gonna know I'm a fake. They're gonna know, they're gonna be able to tell that I have no idea what I'm talking about. And I will never forget what my coach told me. She told me that you will always have that in the back of your head. You will always have imposter syndrome. You'll always feel like you're not good enough. It's never going to go away. You just have to march on and get through it. And I did. A couple weeks later, flew to Brazil with my family, got on stage, delivered the presentation, and it was an incredible experience. They <laughs> they didn't think I was an imposter. I actually did it, even though I was so nervous and had those negative thoughts. I got up there, I did it, and it was a huge experience for me. So what I also want to tell you is if you can get past feeling like an imposter, if you can get, you know, take those steps and get over that hump and that fear and feeling like they think you're a fake, and if you can go out there and do it like I did on that stage, the feeling afterward is incredible. The feeling afterward will motivate you and push you to your next uncomfortable level. And I will tell you from my experience, that experience in Brazil, that completely launched our business because I developed so much more confidence from being on stage, from accomplishing that goal to getting over that really, really scary thing that I didn't think I was qualified for. I was able to leap past and then everything just changed after that because I just knew that I could do, if I could speak on stage to thousands of women in Brazil, they were all wearing headphones. They couldn't even understand me. It had to be translated in their language. If I can do that, what else can I do? What I can't, I can do anything, right? So it just builds your confidence. So that's what I want to motivate you and inspire you to, to do today. If there's something you feel like you're not qualified for, you're not good enough, just try to do it. Go for it because you will experience such an amazing feeling afterward and then you will be unstoppable after you actually do it. So I hope this is inspiring for you. If I can do it, you can do it too, girl. So go out there, do big things. Let me know in the comments what you thought of the video and if you've ever felt like a fake, if you've ever felt like you're not qualified for something and if you've had any experiences with the imposter syndrome and how you got over it, I'd love for you to share below because I'd love for you to help other people as well. And your comments will inspire and motivate others as well. Have a good day, everyone. Hey there, it's Anna. Thank you so much for listening to today's podcast. If you want more information about how to successfully transition from employee to entrepreneur and grow a profitable business, I have an upcoming webinar that I would love to invite you to. It's called the Employee to Entrepreneur Success Path. And I'm gonna walk you through the six phases to go from employee to entrepreneur. I'm also gonna teach you the five signs of a strong business plan and the biggest mistake that people make when going from employee 
employee to full-time entrepreneur. So it's going to be going for over an hour and it's going to detail so much more than I had time to talk about today. Plus it's going to reveal corporate rescue plan, which is the number one community for women who want to go from employee to entrepreneur. So I hope you join us. You can register for my next workshop at www.corporaterescueplan.com forward slash webinar. I'll see you there.